some crumpets for lunch and a baby bell um, <laughs> and um, I finally actually sat down to start doing some work. Um, first of all apologies for the abrupt ending to yesterday's vlog. The afternoon just got away from me. Um, I needed to get the um, clubs packed and there's quite a lot of clubs with the minis and the Once Upon a Yarn Club combined um, and it yeah, it just got away from me and um, I ended up finishing off labelling them all this morning. I had intended to take them to the post office this morning, but we had a phone call meeting with the mortgage company to try and get our mortgage started. Um, and apparently we both needed to be present for the whole thing and it took nearly two hours. And yeah, I didn't get to the post office. Um, so annoyingly, our post office is only open in the mornings. <laughs> Um, but it's fine. I'll just have to take them tomorrow. It's still it's still the last week of the month tomorrow. Um, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a a bit of a full on thing this morning. Um, but it looks like our mortgage application is in. And if everything goes smoothly and the mortgage company don't tick the wrong box like they did last time. And I'm sure they won't because we're going with a completely different mortgage company. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, then they've said about three weeks. So we have got a provisional completion date of the 25th of June. So exciting, slightly terrifying, but exciting. Um, so yeah, that's that. And it meant that I didn't manage to get my yarn started this morning, which is a bit frustrating, but um, I am going to dye two more of the Cupcake Club colourways again. Um, so I've got what have I got? Birthday birthday party cupcakes or birthday cupcakes and uh, lime and coconut are going in the pans today. Um, they're currently got their base colour setting. You will have seen maybe some footage of me putting in the yarn, putting the yarn into one of them and putting the base colour in. Um, so they've got their base colour setting at the moment. But I'm going to sit and eat my lunch. I have just uploaded yesterday's vlog. But today is the last day of April vlogs. And I know a number of you have already said that you're going to miss the vlogs when they finish, when they finish. And um, that's lovely to hear. And I'm, I'm not glad that you're going to miss them because that's a sad thing. But I'm glad that you've enjoyed them enough to miss them. Does that make sense? Um, I'm always in that split frame of mind at this point where I know I'm going to enjoy a few days where I don't have to edit video. I don't have to think about things to say to camera. And then within the space of kind of three or four days, I will miss talking to camera because I will miss the company. <laughs> I will once again just have to talk to myself. Um, so, yeah, but there will be more vlogs later in the year. Last year I did August vlogs. Um, so I might do August vlogs again or I might do July vlogs. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll mix it up and do July vlogs my birthday's in July and if everything goes smoothly we might be moving house in July so that could be quite fun for a vlog series couldn't it but I will be back for another mon monthly vlog series later in the year um I need to announce the giveaway winner um I'm going to do that a little bit later in the day because I want to give time for anybody that's watching that episode throughout the day to pop their comments in um and then I will draw the winner and announce that later in today's vlog um what else I was going to do book of the day and share the scrappy box, but I need to wind the scrappy box up first so I can share that with you. So I think I will just leave it there for now. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I will share a few other little bits and pieces with you later on. Cupcake Club colourway to dye up so I can't show you them all quite yet but I have dyed up the um, birthday party cupcake colourway today which is a fun kind of turquoise base um, with lots of party sprinkle speckles and I've also dyed up the lime and coconut cupcake as well um, which is kind of a pale lime green base it's not focusing a pale lime green base with some chocolatey chocolatey coconutty brown speckles and green speckles um, I like this version better than the original version actually <laughs> right the kids are home and watching TV um, I have got a few bits and pieces to show you I've had some things in the post which I've obviously put out of reach because you know you sit down to record a video and having everything ready next to you is not needed two seconds there we go right so lots of fun things to show you and a giveaway winner to draw um, we'll do that in a minute but I had some post today let's start there I ordered from the lovely Laura some gorgeous yarn isn't this stunning this is her Earth Day colourway which was the colourway she dyed up for Yorkshire Yarn Fest um, and this is on her Merino Nylon DK base isn't that beautiful this is going to be a hat and actually I was thinking of it as a hat for the boys but I really like this colour for me I might have to knit myself a hat out of this. So this is Laura, who is Bumbling Yarns. She is also Crafter's Balm. And I picked up one of her regular sized um, um, hand balms because they're really, really nice and really handy for having in project bags. And my hands are horrendously dry at the moment. Um, so yeah, I picked up those. And they arrived today. So thank you very much, Laura. Laura also has the Lonely Knitter podcast on YouTube as well. And is just an all right, all right general person. No, an all round wonderful person. That's what I was trying to say. Um, Laura is one of my crafty dragons. Um, so she joins our crafty D&D &D group on a Monday. Talking of D&D, &D, the other thing that arrived today was some dice that Tom had ordered. Um, so two of these sets are for him. Um, so this is one of his sets. I think you can see it all right through the, through the organza bag. And then this is the other one of his sets. Lovely kind of mixed greys. And then he needed to, he needed to increase the amount he spent in order to use a discount code. So I threw in a set for me and this is the set that I got for me. Really pretty. So yeah, lots and lots of dice. Typically, most of the D&D that we do, we do online. So we roll virtual dice online rather than actually rolling physical dice. So I don't get to use them as often as I would like. But one day, one day I will have a physical in-person D&D game where I can roll actual dice. It's the dream. Um... So that's that. What else arrived in the post today? Oh, I also got, which if you order from me over the next uh, month or so, you will receive. Um, I also got some flyers from um, the Woolmonty to pop in with parcels, um, advertising both the Woolmonty 2022, which I will be vending at in person, hopefully, 
and also um, Monty at Home for um, June, 12th and 13th of June this year, which I will also be vending at virtually. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of interesting bits and pieces in the post. The other thing I wanted to share with you was the yarns for the scrappy boxes that I dyed the other day. Hello, Jasper. Did you need something? Or did you just want to come and say hello? I have sticky hands from my nap. You have sticky hands? Go and wash them then. Wash them in the sink, buddy. Bathroom sink. Um, scrappy box yarns. So I've skeined up one of each mini. And here Daddy. they are. Daddy. Daddy. So... There's five, let's show them individually, shall I? I've got one that's just pinks, one that's pinks and purples, one that's, oops, navies and pinks, one that is just a really bright blue. It's kind of tonal and it has got some speckles in there for my camera or focus. Um, and then the green one, which again is not coming out quite as um, tealy green on the camera. I hold it next to the blue then maybe you can kind of see the difference there is a more significant difference in person um but yeah they're the scrappy boxes that i dyed the other day so um they'll be in the shop update sometime in may 8th of may i think i'm planning it um, but i'm really pleased with how they came out it's always fun just having a little bit of creative fun i'll try and shut that door again there we go um yeah, so they were all the bits I wanted to do. Let's draw the giveaway winner. And I figure we'll do it live together. So I'm going to flip the camera around so that you can see my computer screen. And we will do drawing the giveaway winner together. So we put the URL in there. Filter comments based on specific text. And the text was T cupboard. Make sure I've spelt that right. Get YouTube comments. So there were 88 comments. Start raffle and pick random winner. Here we go. There we go. So there is our winner. So I will um, so I will make sure it's on the screen in case you can't read it there. But our winner is Bub Karan. Not quite sure how to pronounce that, but. Um, Congratulations, get in touch and I will get your gift card over to you so you'll have £30 to spend in my shop. Very exciting. This is the book of the day. It's called When My Granddad Was a Pen by by More Wag Hood. Oh yeah, and this is the blab. We have those two books. We do have those two books. You're going to tell them what this one's about? It's a bit silly, isn't it? What happens? <laughs> he didn't look quite right. He was a penguin. Yeah, when she went to see her granddad, he didn't look quite right, did he? What had happened? He talked about a lot of fishing. Talked a lot about fishing, yeah. He's, he was in the bathroom for a long time. He spent a lot of time in the bathroom, yeah. Maybe he was just getting older. And what did they find out? The zoo called, didn't it? Something had gone wrong. Yeah. Where was her granddad? In the penguin enclosure. In the penguin enclosure, that's right. It's, it's a very silly enclosure. book. Right. It's a very silly book, isn't it? Yeah. 